Hey, my name is Mary Gibbs. Welcome to Boo Grown Up. I was the voice of Boo in Monsters, Inc. when I was three, and it's been 20 years. I'm sorry if that makes you feel old. But here I am sharing my life experiences and then starting to document some new ones. And this channel is definitely not going to be all about Boo, so I thought I'd take this first video to just address how I got the role, talk about some of the frequently asked questions I get, and just get it out of the way. So let's just get right into it. So to start, how did I actually get the role? Well, my dad was a storyboard artist at Disney and Pixar for like 30 years, and he actually just passed away in April, so rest in peace, dad. But he's the reason I got the part. And so for those of you who don't know, storyboard artists, they work on the movie in the very rough stages, right after the script is written. They will draw out thousands of drawings, literally drawing out the whole movie to find out all the little nuances, all the little jokes, and everything before it goes to computer animation. So again, really rough, rough stages of the movie. And so originally they just needed a little girl to draw, and so my dad brought me in to sketch. And that's actually why Boo has pigtails, because my mom would always put my hair in pigtails, they would always sketch me in pigtails, and it turns out pigtails are just easier to animate anyway. And then as the movie progressed, they needed someone for scratch dialogue. And again, scratch dialogue is still in the storyboard phase, but it's just storyboards to voice, so they can start to see how the movie is really coming together. So again, they used me. This was easy. I knew everybody at my dad's work. I knew my dad. I went to preschool with Pete Doctor, the director's son. So everything was really familiar. As the movie progressed even further, they wanted to bring me into the actual recording studio. So this was at a different location, and my mom was freaking out a little bit, you know? I'm not a trained voice actress by any means. She didn't know how I was gonna handle the situation. And so they brought me to this other studio. We walk in, there's just so many people. My mom asked, you know, is this all for my daughter? And it was, and you know, I just walked in and didn't seem to mind. There's a, like a fun fact that's kind of going around on the internet that they pretty much just chased me around with a microphone. And that is essentially true for a lot of it. I give a lot of credit to that microphone guy who taped a microphone to a boom and is tiptoeing behind me, trying not to make any extra noise and following me around. And, and yeah, for a lot of it, I was just playing, playing around the studio. If they wanted to actually get a line from me, there was ways that they would feed the lines to me. Pete Doctor would use a Cookie Monster puppet, and if they needed me to say kitty in a sad way, he'd say, you know, what would you say if you lost your kitty? And I'd say kitty, really sad. So they'd kind of feed the lines to me like that. And then all the cries, all the screams, totally real emotions. <laughs> there was one time where I was running around the studio and there was change in my pocket and it was just making too much noise. They had to take it away from me. I did not like that. <laughs> that was definitely one of the crying scenes. But the big crying scene, the one where all the lights go off in the beginning and they're in their apartment, um, that one was actually, my mom was holding me. Um, it was for the door scene where they're all on the doors and she's trying to make me go, oh, oh, oh. And she actually throws me up to try to make me laugh and when she catches me, her fingernail just catches right on my gum and just cuts it a little bit, but enough to make me do that big cry and here's my mom trying to be a mom and hugging me and comforting me and here's the <laughs> all the producers going no this is gold like hold her away from you don't muffle the sound and my mom's feeling horrible thinking it's going to come up in therapy later but you know made for a good scene so it was all worth it <laughs> another question i often get is how being boo affected me growing up and so I don't really remember the exact moment I realized I was in a movie. Before the movie came out, I actually took a boo doll to show and tell in my kindergarten. And after school, one of the moms came up to my mom and was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Where can I get a doll with my daughter's voice on it? In the politest way possible, my mom's like, well, you can get a doll, but you know, they're all gonna have my daughter's voice on it. <laughs> and so like, yeah, again, I don't really know when I realized that I was boo, but I remember a specific time in first grade, um, you know, there was this bully, she was a fifth grader and she was mean to everybody and really nice to me and I remember going home to my mom and saying, you know, there's this bully at school and she's only nice to me and I think it's because I'm boo and of course that's not the worst thing, you know, a bully being nice to you but kind of just made me feel a little weird. Growing up there was a couple comments of some friends like so and so is only your friend because you're boo and again not the worst things but just some things I, I went through growing up. And I remember when yearbooks came around, the whole school would swarm me. People were having me sign their chest, and I don't know, it was a little uh, intense for an elementary school student, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but again, nothing too bad, just just some things that I, I experienced um, being boo, I guess. <laughs>
And the most asked question, can I still do the voice? Well, um, you could be the judge. Mike Wazowski! Mike Wazowski! Yeah, no, puberty happened. I uh, definitely cannot do the voice anymore. I was a three-year-old girl, two and a half to three and a half actually, and that was just my voice. I'm not a trained voice actress by any means. I loved musical theater and stuff growing up, but like, that's the extent of that. My parents gratefully pulled me out of the business when I was young and I didn't end up like Britney Spears or Lindsay Lohan, so that, that works for me. <laughs> and that kind of leads into the next most asked question is, Will I get into voice acting again? And like I said, I did do musical theater and stuff growing up, but um, sixth grade happened and I auditioned for The Wizard of Oz and they made me audition in front of the eighth graders and tried to make me cackle like a witch. And uh, I froze up, cried, and that was the last audition I did. And besides that fact, I'm pursuing other things. I have passions elsewhere. And the little amount of fame that I have is plenty for me. I do not need any more. But something I do do now around being Boo that kind of gives me a little taste of the fame every once in a while. Um, a couple years ago, a company, Celeb Works, reached out to me and they manage a bunch of voice actors. Uh, the voice of Goofy, Skeletor, Tinkerbell, the original Poison Ivy. Uh, just so many amazing people that I get to meet and that's my favorite part of doing this. But um, they set up me doing Comic Cons and so every once in a while I'll get to travel around and do Comic Cons and I get to meet people and I have a booth where I sign autographs and it's a really cool experience and I'm really impressed that I can still ride the wave. Again, it's been 20 years but hey, uh, I have a lot of fun doing it and I'm going to do it as long as I can. And that's pretty much it. If you guys do have any more questions though, feel free to leave them in the comments. I could always do another video like this. But again, my channel is going to be more about my life, my experiences, my travels. I will film some Comic Cons and bring some of that in there, but my life is definitely not revolved around Boo, and neither will this vlog. But I hope you guys did enjoy this first video. There's going to be a lot more to come. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Please like this video, please subscribe, press that little bell icon so you guys get notified on my next video, and I'll see you guys next week.